Welcome back to the Fridgening. Today's video is brought to you by the Clean Up Your Clean program in honor of the cleans I'm doing today. It's two sessions per week. It can be done either for your full clean or your power clean. And we have people from weightlifters all the way to athletes looking to improve their power development using the program. Two sessions per week, eight weeks in length. Okay, welcome back to my power and clean day. So my plyometrics, my jumps, and then my full clean day, and a little bit of bodybuilding after. When I might say a little bit, probably gonna do a nice bit. Wait, no, I'm gonna do more tomorrow because I'm gonna do some jerks tomorrow. <clears throat> so today we'll be doing depth jumps. It's gonna do about eight by two again, just off the 25 kilo plate. Then I will be doing the box jumps, and I'll work up to a couple of sets of three and something a little bit higher than last week and then I will be doing uh, some full cleans. So welcome back to my jumping and full clean day with a little bit of hypertrophy at the end. So today I'm gonna to be doing some depth jumps again. I'm gonna do about eight by two or six to eight by two depending on how they're feeling. Then I'll move on to some box jumps a little bit higher than I did last week for a couple of sets of three or so. Then I'll move on to some full cleans and then finally finish off with some strict press from the front. Now, I was kind of thinking about this from the get-go when I was conceptualizing this program, that I'm gonna bring this program out as becoming a horse program. So it's gonna be focused on squatting, deadlifting, overhead work, jumping, cleans, and a lot of hypertrophy. So I'm gonna fit that into four days a week. Gonna run it for probably a, a 10 week block, I think would be the best. Uh, and I think you guys should be able to get two runs out of it. We'll try a little bit more hypertrophy than usual, but a lot of just general kind of strength, a little bit of a lot, a lot of power stuff, and then a significant amount of hypertrophy work. So it should uh, should be a nice kind of program, and I feel like it fits a niche where people just want to do training. They want to be powerful, like I'm doing now. So I think a lot of you guys would would enjoy that. So I will have that ready. I think uh, I've it ironed out pretty well. The progressions, I know what they should be. So I think in the coming weeks, I'll have something good put together. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. It's, uh, I think there's definitely a, a side of training that people want like this. Could be used by some athletes, but I think it's probably used by more people who want to be athletic, but don't particularly play any sport. Anyway, let's get to the jet jumps as exercise number one. So remember on these, we're looking for really short ground contact time. Gonna do a little bit of warm up again, warm up my elbows. Elbows are feeling a lot better. Uh, overhead position getting looser because I'm using it more regularly, doing a lot of stretching at the moment, not even mobility, just a lot of static stretching. And then we move on to the box jumps, strike it a little bit higher, see how they feel, be nice and warm and ready to go for the cleans and then some strict press.
great session, quite happy with it. Still some things to work on. Depth jumps felt a lot better today, which is great. Uh, box jumps were better, they were higher as well, felt quite good, springy. Nice and confident with them. Then moving on to the cleans, wasn't happy as with the cleans this week as I was last week. The shoulders felt a bit tighter, but the front rack itself wasn't tighter, but there was kind of pain in my biceps. The elbows were a lot better, but I still have a lot of work to do them in the extension and general maintenance of this muscle tissue and soft tissue around here in the tendons. They're getting better, way less sore after the cleans. And that's in spite of three jiu-jitsu sessions last week with lots of rolling. So getting the right direction, but still a lot of work to do. I'm trying to counteract something like six months or so of kind of jiu-jitsu being like this. It's a real case of use it or lose it when it comes to mobility and that full elbow extension. And the front rack just weren't really used enough to counteract that. So I'm trying to make up for a lot of ground at the moment. And while I had perfect extension before and stability, pain-free and good rack position, it's something that just goes when you don't use it. I reinforce this position a lot by pulling in with the gi, no gi stuff, holding guard, things like that. So I really need to keep working on this as much as possible. So cleans, technically, I wouldn't say we're affected by that, but there was something slightly off. I was jumping back a little bit. Second set was a lot better. I was using my upper body a lot more. But this again is why I want to do some live sessions with Anton still, even though he's not coaching me or programming me. I still want to do some live sessions with the clean and the behind the neck jerk so to pick up on some things that I can work on as obviously he will have a better right to look at me much more objectively than I can look at myself as I say it wasn't spoofy when I say Anton is a great coach and I really enjoyed it and so I'm going to get him to look at that maybe in about two weeks I'll do a live session with him just get a little bit heavier with the weights and see what it shows up and see what he gets me to work on and I'll probably come back again in a few weeks and see what I need to be fixed um, so I'm happy how it's going, I'm really enjoying the training, I'm feeling really positive and fresh after the sessions, I'm really looking forward to getting the program on paper and I'm really looking forward to you guys getting it because I think there's a lot of you who would enjoy it, so I will be getting that soonish because I'm in it now so I'll see a lot of the stuff. Again, that hip adduction work was prehab for my knee, so this is the stuff Rocco, you remember, had us doing. Uh, what I had me doing for my knees in that video and as I said they fixed my knees within two or three weeks and they haven't been sore since now that I'm doing a lot more volume and doing it as a prehab as we always recommend and this is hopefully along with the side steps and a few other things and mobility should keep the pain away hopefully so good session 